Rar Malting is a, a company that makes malt for beer. Uh, our major uh, uh, suppliers that we supply to are Anheuser-Busch and Miller Coors. That's about probably about 80% of our business. Uh, the remaining 20% of our business is through a brewer supply group, our sister company that supplies over 3,200 uh, uh, microbreweries with all the brewing supplies that they need along with our malt. So uh, we're in the process of uh, four separate projects of expansion at RAR right now. Uh, the reason we're doing these uh, expansions are twofold. Number one is uh, RAR company itself uh, is not able to make enough malt now to uh, totally supply all the customers that we have. It's a very great position to be in because there are other companies in our, in our uh, industry that uh, are not sold out like we are. Uh, that is a, a, a really good problem to have, uh, partially due to the fact that we've got uh, a, a good crew that, that works there, uh, gets things done. Uh, the other part of the expansion is uh, through a brewer supply group, we're putting up a new warehouse. Um, the reason for that is because the warehouse that we have right now located in Kasota is not large enough. We're getting it closer to our home facility so we can drive right across the street and bring our malt there where it can be palletized and sent out to our customers. Uh, then we also have an uh, uh, increased uh, need for uh, storage capacity so we have a, a 14,000 square foot warehouse that we're building and then at the same time we're also increasing the size of our tech center so we're moving uh, into a new tech center to give uh, BSG uh, room to expand in their building as well. Uh, the county really has a strong business partnership with our cities and when uh, development comes to the table and is looking to expand, especially a business like RAR who have been there for many decades, uh, we work really hard to see if we can partner and make things happen that benefit both the county road system and the development itself. Uh, we have set up actually a special fund that we work with. It's uh, um, used for just this purpose where if we have a partnership and there's something that we need on the county system that really the project can't be expected to pay, we step in and work with them. And in this case, the, the piece that we helped with was to fund an alleyway to connect over to a public city street so that uh, the roadway could be um, the access to the development could be in the right location. None of these projects that have been happening in the city of Shakopee and uh, with RAR development happen in a vacuum and having the city of Shakopee um, and partnering with so many different people to get these great projects done is wonderful. Working with the county, um, working our economic development coordinator, Sam DiMaggio, has been huge and influential. Um, our city assistant city administrator, Chris Wilson, was a huge driving force in help getting all the things done for this project, as well as our public works director, Bruce Loney, and everybody else who's been involved. Um, we really want to thank RAR for all of the investment and all of the commitment that they're showing to the, our community and to the city of Shakopee is really great for now and moving into the future. So thank you very much to everybody who's been involved.